So since I've been down this road before, the digitizer being a pretty tight fit in here, and the glue not being very sticky, and um, not holding the digitizer, I've decided to try something different, and that is to use a little heat to soften the the uh, plastic and the uh, glue, make the glue a little stickier. So I'm going to do this for a while until I feel like things are pretty warmed up. I may need to go to a higher speed. <clears throat> so, that's warmed up. I'll probably do that again after I get this uh, piece off here. The backing, or the fronting. Pretty sticky. Of course, the trick is to get your get this thing seated <clears throat> properly first time, and uh, well, there's all sorts of tricks. Yeah, see it's a little in the crater here, so I might want to just sort of push that aside a little bit to make absolutely sure that I don't catch so my button will work freely. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and warm it up a little bit more. <clears throat> and this guy. So I'm going to turn it like this and slide it under Under that. Okay, that's pretty pretty close to where it's supposed to be. I haven't pressed it down quite yet. I want to take a look, make sure my button is lined up properly. And this has uh, got to sit down at the corners and slide into the holder at the and the sides the bezel and notice I still have the protective coating on both sides of these screens this one is will have to be picked off next before we do the assembly but first I need to get these guys to set down. I might even put a little heat on it just to meld the melt the glue a little bit more. So I'm going to take some time at this making sure these things are set in there. See this thing is it takes a little bit of extra pressure and I wish it would seat and hold down better. See, because it looks like it's up just a teeny bit here. And uh, I've learned my lesson not to put too much pressure on any of these parts because they will crack. They're very delicate. 
in order to connect the digitizer on I have to fold this little guy back the cable connector back and then have it face down onto the connector down there so let's see if I can do this kind of work it around until it finally gets where it needs to go And it. That's it. Now I don't know if I can make this connect. To... Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! It worked. All right. So now I'm ready to click this thing back together. In fact, I can do it right now. It's ready to go. No, I've got to remove the. Um, protective uh, coverings that are back here on the back side of the digitizer it comes with uh, some protective um, plastic on there so while you're working on it you don't get smudges and so forth on it so I'm going to remove those next and then we'll snap it all together and <clears throat> the best way to do that first of all along this edge is very vulnerable so you don't want to press very hard along here because you'll cr you can crack the uh, LCD screen. So we're going to start here with um, getting these upper ones clicked in. And I caution you to be very, very cautious Cli slipping this thing back together. Just take about, you know, take a long time to clip these things in and just let let uh, let the warmth of your fingers and the uh, and just the uh, the breath of breath of your air to snap these things in here. I'm just sort of applying a little bit of pressure while I sort of use my fingernail to rotate the chrome piece on along the edges here. It almost looks like it's on. I just have to keep on kind of working it down. It's like it snaps in. I can feel it slide in here and then slide up over here. <clears throat> so it's going to go on. It's just I got to get them held in both at the same time till they get in and snap in or hold in at least. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on working this around and around and see how. It... And a little technique here I think that works pretty good is. I found that this was not going in from on the side to side but you know you've got this bow in the back here so if you're thinking of pressing on the back a little bit on the back side in <clears throat> that's stretching the sides out and then kind of working these side to side working the side parts down into the snaps that seemed to be the trick that finally did it so then when we peel off our front here, this button, isn't it? So much I know about these. There it goes. And I'll just polish this up a little bit. And it takes a little while to boot, doesn't it? Slide down lock. Fixed!